Look what I have. It's like little castanets. Doesn't this look like it would be a jelly? Like a, a cream bouncy texture? It's not. It is not. These powders dropped like three days ago and I got my hands on them. I just knew that I had to try them. Like, look at them. They're freaking stunning. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Looks like a moon. This one. Ugh. I tried it. I swatched it. You know I had to try it. Hey guys, what is up? My name is Michelle. I am the makeup tester. And today we're going to be trying the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighters. These are powder formulated. We're going to do swatches. We're going to do try on. We're going to do wear test. Let's see how good these powders are and if you guys need to add them in your collection. I cannot wait. So this is crazy because this is a powder, right? This is a powder, but it's supposed to give you a glass-like finish to the skin. I've only ever, I don't know about you guys, but I've only ever heard of a liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter giving you that effect. So those are the claims. It's supposed to be very natural, very ethereal, and never powdery. And guys, you're gonna die. These are sweat proof, waterproof, long lasting, non transfer. Like, this is a long lasting formula. So, I definitely want to try that. Okay, in terms of the shade range, I got the three I've got Flaunt, I have Enlighten, and I have uh, Exhilarate. If you wanted to get these in the liquid formula as well, they have the corresponding ones. They are not brand new shades, they're just, oh, I just dug my finger into it and it is a soft material. Like guys, look at the ding that I just, one sec. Like it was kind of like a gentle dig in. And so what I'm gonna say right off the bat is that these formulas are very soft. So probably don't travel with them. But anyways, let's talk about the compact cause I'm looking at this and this is freaking cute. This looks like a little gumdrop, little bubble. It is so just like girly and kind of understated and kind of retro. This is kind of giving 50s mod type vibe. It has soft, rounded, curved edges, which I love. It feels pretty weighty in the hands and it does have a mirror on the inside, but the mirror isn't like anything special. I'm also noticing that there's kind of like this little divot right here and it looks like I can almost like pop it out. I wonder what's underneath. Like, is there a brush under here? Remember like L'Oreal would give you a, bl a brush under these compacts? I need to find out. Maybe it's refillable? Hmm, one sec. I'm taking a pen and I'm just gonna try to pop this out. Ooh, I am gonna ruin this product more than I already have. Okay, let me try a fork. Okay, so I'm trying a key and it actually does not look like this is meant to pop out. And I just don't think that this is like a feature of the product. So let's start with, hmm, I don't know. Let's start with, let's start with, Let's start with. All right, let's start with Enlighten. This is the most pearly, most white of the shades. Look how beautiful that looks in the pan. That is nice. I want to eat this. It looks kind of like a marshmallow. Hmm. Should we use our finger? Should we use a brush? Let's try it. Let's start with a brush. And I'm not going to put any Max Fix Plus or anything like that. Let's just see how it looks naturally on the skin. So I'm just using a fluffy brush that is perfect for getting those apples of the cheeks. The brush picks up the product really nicely. You don't have to dig in too deep. And it is to the finger, like if you just run a finger over top, it is quite silky and delicious. The powder isn't too, you know, tightly compacted. It's kind of loose, it's kind of fluffy, but let's see how this looks on the skin. So where am I gonna put it? I think right here. Whoop. I took the tiniest, like the tip of this brush and just hit my face ever so slightly and already a lot, a lot is going on. So boop, 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 boop. We are, okay. I need to, I think what I need to do is that because that was going to be a little much for me. So I'm just going to kind of blend out what I already set down. And are you guys seeing that? Let's do a little C shape and bring it right underneath the brow to give us kind of like a little model vibe. And that is what it is looking like on the cheekbone. I did not have to work that product into the skin. I didn't have to do anything fancy. I literally just placed it. And let's do the bridge of the nose. Just a little here, like that. Uh-huh. And boop, right here to give us like a little cute button nose. I think this is a little strong for the center of the nose. Um, 
yeah, maybe I have to blend this out. This is the color Enlighten. I actually thought that this was gonna be too white and too stark on me, because look at this in the pan. This is like straight up white. But actually what ended up happening was it just looks clear on my skin. Like it just looks glossy. They did that with this product, you know what I'm saying? Like they really, I don't, ha I've never actually tried a highlighter like this. Like this is, so if you guys have a neutral, kind of like fair skin tone, kind of like me, and you're looking at this online and you're just like, I would never reach for that because I feel like it's gonna be too stark. It's actually not, this is actually perfect. So if you're looking for something that's like a little bit more clear, it's gonna look glossy, it's gonna look shiny, this is perfect. This shade is really good Now I cannot wait to try this next one. Okay, next shade is Exhilarate. This is the shade that I am most excited to try on. Look at that. That looks like the moon. <laughs> this is like a scrumptious golden mid champagne type of a tone. Not too warm, not too cool. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Ooh, that's pretty. Damn, that is nice. Are you guys seeing that? Look at that, that's just wet. Surprisingly though, it's actually quite similar to the one that we just tried on. Like it's not, it's kind of clear. It's not too gold. I'm surprised. It's a little less bright, like it's a little less stark than the other one, but it's actually not that far off. I wanna try this on my Cupid's bow. It's nice. In a corner. The tiniest of touches goes such a long way, guys. I just cannot see you ever going through an entire pan of this. That would be craziness. I want to spray this with Fix Plus. Whoa, I am literally the Tin Man. Okay, look at the difference. Ooh, kill him, kill him. Now look at this. This is the natural side. You just get so much more glow, angelic, kind of like dew. I want to kind of seal it with one more layer of powder just to see how it layers. If it's gonna give me any crusty crust, if it's gonna give me any like texture to the skin, I just wanna see how this performs. Oof. That is going overboard for my personal taste, but I wanted you guys to see that. That is, that is blinding. You, My light, my window right there, is like my, the light of my cheek is emanating out through my window, the neighbors can see it. I am causing havoc in the neighborhood. Okay, for some reason I haven't put it on the other side of my face, so let's just do that. I'm gonna do this with my finger just to see if this is gonna create like more of a punch right from the jump. And it definitely does. That's actually crazy. Usually like powders, you don't like apply them with a the finger, but that makes a huge difference. Like I just got so much more pigment there with my finger. I'm just diffusing this with my brush. But look, right from the jump, I just got so much luminosity there. The one thing that I will say is that mm, it's a, this shade is a little glittery now that I'm looking at it. This is Exhilarate and it is emphasizing my pores just a little bit. It looks glass-like, but it's not like sweaty or anything. It just looks quite delicious. So this is Exhilarate and this is what it looks like on the skin. I would say this is like a little heavy for my liking. Like usually I like like just like a little subtle type vibe, but you can just apply less, you know? And I think for me, like this is just like a little bit unnatural. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this next shade, Flaunt, and let's see if we can make it look really natural. I'm gonna apply Flaunt, and I'm gonna apply the Flaunt highlighter in the liquid so that we can see the difference and see if there is any difference. Okay guys, check this out, Flaunt. Flaunt is like this bronze. Look at this, doesn't it look like, kinda like a golden egg? Ooh, I wanna eat this. It looks like a, 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 a golden quail egg. Oh my God, that is scrumptious. And it's so true because it looks like it would be like this bouncy texture, like a soft mousse, but it's actually quite, I mean, it's firm but when you do swatch it with your finger, it comes off just so smooth. Like the name of this product is just right. So I'm gonna take this and I think we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this on my lid. I'm gonna do the same thing with the liquid and we're just gonna see what the differences are. I'm just gonna do this with this one shade. It would just be a whole separate video if, you know, comparing the liquid to the powder. So I'm gonna do that in um, my next video, if you do guys want to see that, if you do guys want to see that, if you guys do want to see that, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe because that's going to be the next video. But without further ado, okay, this is deep. I can see how this is going to be a little bit different from the other ones just by tapping it on. This has got a golden 
champagne undertone. And for my skin tone, like if you guys are my skin tone, this is like actually melting into the skin. Like you can't really tell where my powder starts and where it stops and where my skin begins and where it ends, if that makes any sense. It's all kind of meshing into one pool of glowiness, you know? It's looking really natural with this color, so I'm really loving this. So now, this is the powder side, guys. The, the true test here is we're gonna see if the flaunt powder is any different than the flaunt liquid. Because like, you know, if you already have the liquid, do you need the powder? We're about to find out. And by the way, guys, if you're not familiar with these, this lid is supposed to help people that have arthritis or help people with mobility issues. So I just like that it's inclusive. You know, it's got the ball on the top and it's just supposed to make things a little bit easier. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I'm kind of like starting to see the differences now that they're like side by side. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my eyelid just to see how that would look like as a shadow and I'm gonna do the same thing with the powder. Okay, cute. Let's try the powder. Interesting. Okay guys, so I kind of have some like formed opinions here. Okay, here's how I feel. I feel like this looks like wet like water. You know what I mean? Like water is on my face. But then if you kind of look at it on this side, it's just a slightly different, right? It almost looks like this is cream. Like this is a little bit more emollient, like a little bit more juicy. This is the powder side. This is how it looks like in the light, on the lids, on the cheekbone. And this is how it looks with the liquid side, okay? Look at the way the light is catching just a slight bit differently. The colors are dead on, like they look the exact same. You would never know that I'm wearing two different products on either side. So they are pretty comparable in terms of color. I think they're almost even pretty comparable in terms of finish. Like, you know, you would never, you would never really know. This one is randomly, this one's a little bit more intense. Like the, the powder is just a little bit more metallic, a little bit more reflective. Um, now there's one more thing that I want to do. And that is I want to put the powder on top of the liquid to see if that's even like a combination that's gonna look good. So we're gonna go with a light hand. Okay guys, we're gonna go with a light ass hand. How does that play together? Okay, so powder alone, and this is how it looks like stacked on top. I think the problem with it stacked on top is that it's really emphasizing my texture now. Like I have very good skin and this is kind of like making it look like it's not good. You know what I mean? It's quite, I don't know, crumply? <laughs> like it's looking crumbly, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't have crumbly skin. I can see every pore. Mm -hmm, I can see every pore. I can't really tell you definitively whether if you already have the liquids, do you actually need the powders? Because I don't have every single liquid. They're actually in the mail, they're on the way. So like I said, I'm gonna have a video that's gonna be coming out with the direct comparison so that you guys can see. Okay, so we've tried all the colors. Now I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go about my day and see how it looks like in natural light. I wanna see how long it wears, all that stuff, and I will be right back. Hi guys. Okay, so it's been a day, let me tell you what I think. I love this, I think it looks amazing. My one complaint would be that it emphasizes texture a little bit, and it is slightly, just slightly glittery. So I don't love those two aspects. Um, you do have to go in with a light hand, like I said, but I do think this is like a very unique powder. Like it looks like glass on your skin and it looks really nice in natural daylight. So all in all, I love this. I think you should get it. They're good on the cheeks. They're good in the inner corners. They're good as eyeshadows. I am obsessed. And I can completely understand why these are flying off, off the shelves as soon as they launched, like they were out of stock. And that is it. This was a complete win for me. I actually didn't expect that. Usually I'm not into like powder highlights, but this did it for me just because it looks so glass-like and wet and stunning. You guys need to get your hands on these. Did you guys like the finish on the skin in the end? Like, do you think that it's cute? Let me know what you guys think. If you are planning on picking it up, tell me what shade you're getting. I'm curious to know. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.